Hello and welcome to Space Engineers. We're building a ship. Slowly but surely. So let's start with some thrust replacements. That's right, we're giving up and we're building a, a spaceship or whatever the hell you want to call it. So we'll just start with some large thrust placements. So it's going to take me a while to design this, but... Right, so I think... Think about... The design element of this, we need it to be able to... <coughs> Handle Alright, so I think we should figure out the thruster configuration first. Right. We're going to need a lot of Ah, thrust. I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. This might be interesting. Uh, but it's like super hard to do this. Ah, uh, okay, let's have a look. So. We need to have refineries, so... Ah, uh, steel plates. I um, don't Need six refineries and some assemblers. So let's get rid of this junk. Why don't we have an East Steel Plate? Steel plate is ah. Uh, we'll have to do. Okay, so I think I get the general idea of this. All right, and we're gonna have this section as the sort of whole area. 
So I don't think I get what I'm doing. This is sort of the production area, right? So if we do this... Right. Right, and then have like another one over here. That's four refineries. Probably with another two on the other side, because this is going to be like multi. Okay, I see. I think I see where we are under this. <coughs> uh. Through all this crap. Mm, okay, there we go. Right. So this is gonna be like the production lane in here. When they come up. You know, probably add like a function like this. Right. This is going to be the planning stage, so this is sort of where we're planning to have the production. It's been the exact same spot. This isn't symmetrical. Why is this not symmetrical? that okay there's only one thing I can do shut up I need to come out one Assuming we have done this right. No. Shut out, you stupid thing. Ah, oh. oh, this is so hard. Okay, now this should be exactly three blocks of actual space between them. Yes, there we go. Then we can start doing it this. Right. 
Alright, and then just really these casually. And then casually add to this one. Right there, like that. Now let's order this up and running. So now we got a general flame. Right, we're gonna need more thrust. <coughs> right. So then we need to put another one of these guys in. Right, so we're gonna do that. I think this tail section is gonna start having a sideways thrust. So we also need speed modular upgrades for these guys. Alright, and let's start putting these guys in. Alright, so this is going to be the sort of back section. Alright, and we can pretty this up later with the custom armor, because this is all sort of going to be enclosed. Also, that's really bad for me, by the way. Getting, taking two ways and then... <laughs> Let's see, and then we have that. Oh my god, seriously, that's annoying. Okay, so we have that going. So we'll put a skin on that later. Right now we got the sort of central hub for production area. Now if we look at our storage options, okay, cargo, uh, okay. well that fits perfectly in there, oh yes we definitely want to do that, okay. Yeah, fix that up. Game. We could fit one of these guys in here. Get that orientation right. There we go, that should do it. And that's a large container that we are now able to place in. Right. And we're going to have more thrusters on the wall. 
And I think we're gonna have then a midsection along here. Probably don't need any. So I'll need probably just as many ionic thrusters. Now if we sneakily... Or if we sneak four in here. And then we'll have four of these ionic thrusters, which I think is going to be good because we need to put... This needs to be extremely fast in all environments, so we're going to do... Double ratio like that. We can stick those in really nicely. And I think I want to extend this tail out a bit further. So I think something like this will be very sneaky. Hmm. Right, and then we can do because these babies got three times extra power so they should be able to make up the difference with the weight <laughs> there we go okay so we're starting to get this together ah crap and we're just gonna have to do that again Can't forget the warp drives. Right, not to mention all the. Oh, shut up. There we go. That should be at the same elevation. There we go. Just hit me a couple shots of this. I need to refill my hydrogen. tank oh, steal another one right there we go now we could probably use more of these ionic to thrust ratio because these things aren't as powerful as the other bedroom. So there we go. And we're starting to come along nicely. We can just put that out like so. Probably need more atmospheric thrust to get this off the ground, but I think I'm gonna come in, extend this tail out a bit. Um, we still haven't Right, and I think this is going to be the um, docking area. Now I believe... I think I want the orientation I had with this one as well, because I think stuff on the side is going to be... Better because that once gives me available space on the top, so there we go. Right, there we have it. Got the correct orientation. I don't know if I put a skin or I just make this a giant barge. Is the idea of the design? Hmm. That could work on its own right.
I could even put in other refineries in. I wonder where I should put the assemblers. Maybe on the end of here. Hmm. Yeah, just say this is a giant floating barge. Okay, how long is this recording? Well, that's been another episode. I think we're going to finish this off since this is the design so far. We're going to be designing and building this thing over the thing. I'm thinking giant floating barge uh, sort of approach because, like, I could put a lot of skin on this and make this one big ass ship. But uh, at the moment, I don't really see that happening because, um, well, I'm not very good at designing ships, let's face it. I'm not the best at this sort of thing. And I think a floating barge is more up my alley. I think that's relatively simple for me to do. Until next time.